Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Finally Bloodborne here guys. And as promised my first video is going to be the first part of the 100% walkthrough where in case nobody remembers Dark Souls 2, 100% walkthrough I did or in case you're new to the channel which I'm sure most of you are. Um, in this episode or in this series sorry we will be getting every item and every secret in the game. Um, I did my best since, pretty much since the game came out I've been dedicating to finding everything exploring it well so Hopefully I didn't miss anything in this episode. Uh, obviously if you um, found something I didn't, please let me know in the comments and I'm sure to add it into the video somehow. Uh, but anyway, uh, we picked up our first item there straight after the first enemy to the left, not hidden at all. Just like this second item here which is some quicksilver bullets in plain sight in this courtyard. Uh, now we are going to enter Central Yharnam, which this video is all about. Quite an actual big place to be honest, I didn't actually expect the first area in the game to be so complex it actually took me a few hours to figure it all out but you know it came out quite well in the end I really loved the design of everything so yeah uh, before heading up this ladder by pressing up this lever we are going to uh, pick that item up and come to the end break this wood and pick another item up uh, now we are going to head up to the hand ladder and activate our first checkpoint I'm going to mention it even though I did mention it in every single Dark Souls 2 100% walkthrough uh, the voice I'm commentating over the preview of Sony Vegas after I cut the video up so I can't really tell what sort of the names of the items are in the preview because the preview is quite small and the quality isn't brilliant I'm sure I remember most of the important ones but yeah um, anyway there's pretty much only one path we can take at the moment we could jump down back there but we'd miss a few items if we did that so at the moment we're just going to carry on downstairs uh, here we could go two ways we are going to double up on ourselves and come down this path to our left, cure a few enemies there. We are going to be able to press this lever which will open the gate uh, which leads back to the start level. Over here there is going to be this giant guy with an axe, so I'd be careful with this guy, it's actually quite powerful. When you do manage to kill him there is a chance that he will drop you some gems to equip to your item and get the, I'm sorry, get your weapon upgraded better. That's quite rare. Right, so coming the other way, um, this is where you can drop down from above if you aren't really interested in going around, uh, but it's not really necessary, there's an item behind that statue, so uh, this is kind of like the main road in this uh, area, there's three sections, there's the middle bit down here, and then there's a place up here to the right, and further on there's going to be another um, section to the left. Uh, we're going to explore the top right first, so... Uh, watch out for this guy, he tries an ambush you as you pick this item up. I think it's a shard to upgrade your weapon. Uh, but like I said, staying on the top road first, there's could be quite a little bit of ambushes around this area. It, it Just in this road, there's pro it's probably the area with most enemies in this in this level. Because it's just a ridiculous, if you go down there and try and run past everything, there's going to be so many of them. As you can see there. But anyway, uh, we picked one item up there. There's nothing we can, else we can pick up in this uh, on the top road. So now we're going to go down to the middle. Watch out with all the enemies there. There's only one item we're going to be able to pick up down here, which is against the door that um, the giant's knocking on the other side, which is right at the end of the middle road, so you can't really miss it. And that's pretty much for this area. Now uh, we're going to head up to the top left uh, road, which is the way out of here. Uh, don't worry about this item on the stairs, the, an enemy dropped that. This item, however, is kind of tried to be hidden in the grass, I guess, but you can't really miss that. And uh, that's pretty much all there is here. Now we're going to head through the only path we can once we kill this guy. We're going to head through here. Right now, uh, this next area is a few things I want to mention. Um, first, obviously, get this item in plain sight. Then we are going to stick to the left, and there's going to be like some wooden coffins or whatever around the edge. Uh, this is actually a really useful shortcut, but um, for sake of 100% walkthrough, I'm not going to drop down, but I really recommend dropping down if you're just interested in completing the level and getting to the bosses as fast as you can. Extremely useful, and it will save you extremely a lot of time walking around the map. Uh, but anyhow, now we're going to take out that giant what was banging on the door where we picked the item up the other side. Shouldn't be much of a trouble. Uh, there's two items beside it. I can't really tell... I think one of them is a torch which we, can, which we can equip to our left hand and the other one's over a cocktail molotov which I'm not sure. Is over a cocktail molotov or a blood bar? I can't really tell which one I picked off the enemy and which one I picked off the ground but nothing too important anyway. Uh, straight in front opposite of him there's going to be two or three of these bird kind of creatures and breaking the wood there's going to be some urns I think they are. Uh, nothing else in this area guys so we're going to head up 
the stairs the only way we can there's going to be this item here which we've seen from the other side on the top right path in the free road area once again we are going to head the only way we can there's going to be another lock gate here which we'll be unlocking a bit later on from the other side so yeah um, pretty much carry on up the stairs the only way you can we'll come to this statue type area with a few dogs and other random enemies once we kill them we are going to pick up the the only item here in sight so we'll pick that up and head up to head up the stairs where the enemies were coming down before uh, this will take us to the bridge where the first boss is going to be uh, I just want to let you guys know that I'm not going to be doing the first boss in this video and yeah I know this like quicksilver bullets and that's pretty much it so just take that in mind um, there, is, there are a few quicksilver bullets in the boss area which I'm not going to pick up in this video uh, as you see I just went to the end of the road there and picked up um, that item watch behind that statue to the right nothing too hidden uh, in this area there's going to be a shard behind here to upgrade our weapon and just hanging off the edge uh, there's going to be another item. This is pretty much above uh, the free road area we was in before. Now we're going to head to the left, pick up this item in this water. Uh, they, it, you'd probably think, some people probably think that it's only hiding that item, but then uh, it's pretty much the biggest area in this level and complex area in this level behind these stupid barrels and shit. But uh, just carry on jumping down, uh, make sure you don't fall all the way down even though there is. There is one thing that uh, this area made me realize that the gravity uh, or at least fall damage system on this game is kind of more like Demon Souls. It's not too bad to be honest. You don't really take that much damage. Uh, but anyway, just continue down those ledges until you get to this rectangle room where it's pretty much just a massive giant hole in the middle. Typical sewer style. This area is actually quite complex. Probably the most complex one to explain in Central Yarnum. But I think I did it the most logical way to get all the items without really missing anything because it's not like there's exactly missable items. But I tried to do it so you didn't have to go away all the way around the level again to get any. So so yeah, there's not actually any items on this level. But um, you do need to jump down in a specific way to pick that item up down there on the ledge. So we're just going to pick that up try to kill as much enemies these enemies are actually quite annoying if they combo you you're pretty much dead but yeah uh, like I said I checked everything on this level and this <laughs> to be honest I don't think there's anything on this level if you guys have found anything but I did break everything so yeah so yeah you want to jump down here uh, there's absolutely no other reason to jump down any other place to be honest and pick this up I think I can't quite remember but I, I reckon it's like one of those the souls from Dark Souls to get more currency but in like a, a bigger version, I can't really remember. Like I said, I can't really see the preview that well, but I kind of remember it being that. Um, so yeah, we're going to come this way. Uh, there's going to be one of these guys. <laughs> I don't know if this guy's if this happened to you, but um, I, these guys kind of remind me of Ryuk from, from Death Note. <laughs> it's like really similar to that kind of body and face. But anyway, bye bye to him. And we're going to pick um, the Huntis set here. So there's a brand new armor set. Or if you're interested in that is the typical one on the trailer but um, right beside it we're going to hop down here I didn't really mean to hop all the way down there in a row but you know it doesn't really matter as you can see I'm gonna pick the two items up it's gonna um, make these go make all these guys go aggro on you they're not too hard to beat um, so this kind of where this is split road in the sewers but first we're gonna head up the ladder over here um, this a whole bunch of um, sewers down there but we're going to be getting to that um, lot a bit later on uh, so for now we're just going to head up this great big ladder yeah I should have probably put that in fast forward but um, I'm not going to move all the clips I copied <laughs> from before like I've cut so much stuff but I'm sorry about that ladder I should have put that in fast forward but whatever oh we went to the right there picked up an item which was being guarded by all those birds guys uh, kill this giant guy and now we're going to head up the only ladder we can uh, we can talk to this guy don't do anything at the moment anyway if we head up the ladder now we can press the lever here to our left and open the gate uh, that gate pretty much leads out to don't know if you guys remember where there was a giant knocking at a door with a big round um, fountain place Anyway, if we talk to this window and we decide to help her find her parents, 
Actually, we'll give us a tiny music box. That tiny music box helps against the second boss. Uh, you can use it three times and it will stun the boss pretty much. I'm not going to be fighting the second boss in this video either, but I just thought that would be good to let you guys know. But anyway, now we've gone all the way back down the ladder to the sewers, and now we're going to head this direction, where it's pretty much um, the main path in the sewers. It's like the widest path. Uh, you can't really get lost. Um, just don't go down the one I said we'll be exploring later, and there's the only one there is. Uh, but anyway, now we are going to head up this great big ladder to the right of a tunnel. Uh, don't worry about the tunnel, guys. We'll be going down there in a second. I just want to um, show you how the, all this interconnects, I guess. So if we head up this ladder, there's going to be a massive bridge in, in front of us and a lift to our left. But um, now we're going to show you how it um, connects the other way. So now we're going to go back down and now we're going to head through the tunnel. Watch out for the massive pig guy here. Shouldn't be too hard to kill. Um, he's going to, well I don't think he drops anything specific but whatever, uh, but there is an interesting item right behind him which is going to allow us to buy the free primary weapons or the free uh, weapons we could select at the start from Hunter's Dream, now we can go back and buy any of the free, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we're going to head out to the left here, don't continue straight because there's a massive great trap there, so yeah. <laughs> Now we're going to head up this ladder and now we are going to be the other side of the bridge and we kind of skip that massive great boulder trap that that guy tried to launch at us. So it's kind of a neat shortcut. Not really sure if I prefer the pig or the boulder to be honest but whatever. Uh, now we're going to head up the stairs behind the guy with the boulder. Uh, kill these guys. There's going to be a hunter's mark that I think it was. It's kind of like Homeward Bone if I'm not mistaken. I can't really remember what that item was in specific but I think it was that. If we add up these stairs, that's where the second boss is going to be, so we're not going in there. Uh, the only thing, the only item in the second boss room uh, is pretty much the heirloom, I think it is, which you can pretty much uh, give to give to uh, the second boss's daughter, which was the person who gave us the tiny music box in that window. <laughs> it's kind of com just to complete the side quest. But anyway, uh, now we've headed up the lift we activated before. Uh, there's two giants in front of us back there, but we're going to ignore them. It's pointless, to be honest. We're going to head up to the left and go all the way up these stairs to pick up that item at the dead end. Uh, there's free path here, but uh, for now I just want to show you something quickly before going all the way down this path. That up there, I'm not sure if you guys remember right near the start of the video, I said there's going to be a really useful shortcut. This is where we would jump down to if we took that shortcut right here. Uh, I'm not going to continue down, down that path at the moment. I'm going to go back up here where the path divided into three or four. Down there's the giants, but we're going to head this way through this tunnel. There's going to be a normal house door here, and we are going to end up in a room which is pretty dark. Not too bad. Uh, remember on the alpha, it looked a lot darker than this, I think. Uh, there's a guy in the wheelchair, a few items, like one item there. We can head up to the top floor. There's another item here in the corner. Uh, if we went through out this door here and headed up, we'd be on the boss, the first boss bridge again. But like I mentioned, we're not going to do the boss battles in this video. Uh, it, there's only like a few bullets in the boss battle, I think it was. Uh, now we're going to head out the other door, which is the other side of the the dark room. As you can see here, we also come out the other side in front of the two giants, which are in front of the elevator. Uh, we're going to head up these stairs, there's an item here, I think it's a shard to upgrade our weapon and we're going to head up finally up these stairs. Now this gate, this gate takes us all the way back to the checkpoint we activated at the start, so um, just in case you guys don't remember, that's why the that shortcut I mentioned was so useful because you pretty much just jump down there, go through the house and you can activate that. And from here, to be honest, you can get to both bosses really quick because you go through the house, go upstairs, and you're pretty much on the bridge to go to the second, um, the first boss, sorry. And to get to the second boss, you just go through the house, down the elevator, and across the bridge, and you're also there. Uh, but now we're going to finally head down that final path I said we wouldn't quite be going down yet. Uh, that we did get one item, which is in plain sight. Uh, we go across a little bridge, and we are inside a chapel kind of place, I guess you would call it. Uh, we're going to break these barrels and hop down here. Uh, in this, On this floor, there's going to be two bodies we can break by cutting these chains. There's another one over there. Uh, there's one item here on this floor. Go and pick that up. 
I think it's just some blood thing what count like I can't remember their names. I think it's like the things what give you currency if you use them on Dark Souls, whatever. Uh, final thing on this level, if we go around the side, we're going to find this door to head outside and there is going to be an NPC across here which will kindly give us a few things if we talk to her, so I think if you talk to her once she gives you um, some homeward bones, I'm just going to call them homeward bones because I can't remember what they're called on this game and also she's going to give you a new gesture, so yeah, that's kind of her uh, now we're going to head into the building again, uh, try and jump down to the floor directly below us. Try not to jump all the way down because um, you're probably going to die, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, go around the side of the room until we find this one item here and that's pretty much in this room. Um, there's one door to head all the way back at the top and this one door which is going to head into the sewers from before but we're not going to bother doing that. Um, remember those two bodies we cut down just now so there's going to be one either side of the room so we can't get them both at the same time but don't worry about it we're going to go straight back up just in a second so one of them's a shard to upgrade our weapon I think the other one is the weapon uh, the saw spear which is kind of like the saw cleaver but uh, it's got a kind of a saw I mean sorry it's kind of a spear move set but anyway once we picked up one of the weapons either side uh, we're going to jump all the way down to where there's like these broken boats and some rats pick up these items at the end of the tunnel so it's not too important head out and this guys this is going to be the final path in the sewers which I mentioned we we're not going to be going down yet uh, as you can see there's the ladder we headed up before uh, for now we're just going to head back up the only ladders there are in this path and there, this, this this door at the top, we're going to head straight back into that and this is going to be the room um, directly above the two items which were hanging so now we're just going to hop down the other side and pick up the other item which was hanging which is going to be the saw spear and yeah, um, now we're just going to head back down to the bottom floor, do the same again, run straight back up the ladder and now instead of heading through the door we are going to go all the way around the edge of it um, there's only going to be, I think there's two items left here in the guide, to be honest, uh, really in sight. The first one is going to be down here, all the way at the end of um, this place. There we go, uh, some blood there. And the final item, which is going to stick all the way around the left of it, as soon as I stop being an idiot trying to break everything. Go all the way around the left, across the bridge here stick to the wall uh, where these two birds guys are there's going to be an item behind the wood so yeah guys <laughs> hopefully I didn't miss anything uh, if I did oh no sorry 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 completely forgot about the last item down here <laughs> there thank god for that okay so yeah like I was gonna say if I did happen to miss anything in the whole level without counting the two items in the boss rooms uh, please let me know in the comments. I really do appreciate it. I do like um, I do like comments like that just to help me out. You can you can say insulting me if you really need to, but um, I am really curious if I missed anything because I actually take my time to do this. But yeah, guys, um, hopefully this helped. Please go like and subscribe if you did, and we'll see you next episode.